Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Tuesday, June 14, 2016, around 8.03 in the evening in Bellingham, Massachusetts. The sun is going down. It was a perfect 10 day. Tomorrow's going to be like that as well. Temperature's going to creep up, but no humidity. We will stay dry. Maybe some chances of um, showers and stuff, but no summertime heat into the end of next week. Some news to report. The Denver Broncos re-signed the linebacker Brandon Marshall to a four-year contract extension worth $32 million. Don't know how much is guaranteed. And... Gary Marshall, who created um, Laverne and Shirley and Happy Day, says there was a very real possibility that Laverne and Shirley and Happy Day's two series, television series, that he created, say said that he says will probably be rebooted in the next few years. Please. No more reboots of classic television series. The only reboots of classic television series are good, good uh, game shows. And speaking about game shows, I'm probably going to catch the new version of Tell the Truth soon on ABC On Demand because I would rather watch um, classic episodes of Let's Make a Deal with Marty Hall and Buzzer tonight. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about one of the best point guards in the NBA today, Chris Paul of the LA Clippers. Chris Paul's been in the league 11 seasons, and he, he and Blake Griffin have a great combination. It's one of the best dynamic duels in the NBA, but they have not made the NBA Finals and they even made the Western Conference Finals because the Clippers are a good playoff team. Anyways, Chris was born in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He grew up in Clemps, um, Clements, North Carolina. The North Carolina's a basketball hotbed. And he played football and basketball as a kid. And he was good at both sports, but he excelled at basketball the most. His senior year, he averaged close to 31 points per game, averaging close to 6 rebounds per game, having um, close to 10 assists per game, and having 6 steals per game. He was named All-American McDonald's All-Star Team for High School, First Team Parade, All-American, and he was named Mr. Basketball of North Carolina. He was recruited by many colleges, but he selected Wake Forest. And he played two seasons um, with Wake F Forest. He averaged 15 points per game, 6.3 assists per game, and 3.9 steals per game during his college career. He made a couple of all ACC teams. And he declared himself eligible for the NBA draft in 2005. And he was drafted by the New Orleans Hornets, now the New Orleans Pelicans, in the first round, fourth overall pick. And he's played his first. Um, Six years of his NBA career with the um, Hornets franchise. And he was very good playing for the Hornets. He was their best player. They won a couple of... They did um, won a one-division title. And he was the star player for a franchise that was, you know, recovering from the Hurricane Katrina. And, but the Hornets only won one playoff series during his tenure. And then he didn't like the direction the team was going and he requested a trade. He was almost going to be traded 
to the LA Lakers, but then Commissioner um, David Stern nixed the idea because it was in the in the best interest of the NBA for that trade not to go, take place. Then um, Chris Paul was traded to the LA Clippers. He and Blake Griffin have a great dynamic duel. They've led um, the Clippers to new heights that they've never reached before, winning some division titles and making the second round of the playoffs almost every single year. But they don't go to fans further than that. They 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 blew a three-one series lead in 2015 to the Houston Rockets, and this year. They didn't even make it out of the first round because Chris Paul was injured. And these are Chris Paul's career stats as of right now. Two seasons of 20 or more points per game. Two seasons of five rebounds per game. Um, he had six seasons of 10 or more assists per game. Nine seasons of two or more steals per game. Chris has played on played in nine All-Star games. He was named MVP of the All-Star team in two, I mean, game of 2013. He led the NBA in assist four times and five, no, I mean three times, five times he's led the NBA in steals. Five times he's made the All-NBA first defensive team. One time he made the All-NBA second defensive team. One time he made the All-NBA all-Star first team, two times he's made the All-NBA all All-Star second team, and one time he's made the All-NBA third team. Chris Paul has a lot of endorsements. He's a very charisma charismatic player. He is part of the NBA Players Association. And in 2013, he became the CEO of the NBA Players Association. And his career stats are 14,506 points, averaging 18.8 .8 points per game, 3,380 rebounds, averaging 4.4 rebounds per game, 7,688 assists, averaging 9.9 .9 assists per game, and 1,793 steals, averaging 2.3 steals per game. Um, Chris has won two gold medals for the U.S. in Olympic competition, but he's not going to be playing this year because he's recovering from an injury. And his number three is retired by the Wake Forest Deacons. And Chris stats, he's probably going to be, when he retires, one of the best point guards in history. He's a probable Hall of Famer, and he could be a first ballot Hall of Famer. And I bet the L.A. Quick Lippers who retires number three will probably be hanging the rafters at the Staples Center. And that's about it on Chris Paul. And that's about it on these video blogs of the night. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus tomorrow. You are going to get three more video blogs. First video blog will be about the Golf Channel. Second video blog of the day will be about Tavern at the Square. That's a, f that's a requested video blog. It was from a Facebook friend. And the third and final video blog on that will be about former professional wrestler Greg Ganya. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Bennett guy. Molly Rose Blood with WCCO accents, nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swensey's so awesome. Julie Donaldson of Comcast Sportsman Atlantic is the best. And she's my TV sports crush, Michelle Bino of ESPN Sports Nation rocks. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out. See you later, Facebook friends. And good night and sweet dreams.